isolate it. I extract it and then I distill its essence. And I seal it in here. It also releases a hot blonde and a midriff. So Jack gets the idea to go back to the cookie factory to search for clues. Because, of course, no authorities would be at the scene of the crime. Yeah, not CSI Toyland's best work. But Barnaby has a surprise for him. What happened? Barnaby captures Jack and tells him all about his evil plan to take over Toyland. I plan to own it, and when I do, there'll be some very interesting changes. Over my dead butt! Over my dead butt? Over my dead butt! Not that I assume your butt or any part of your body was alive, but that doesn't seem like a very good threat. Jesus, why do they drive everywhere? This place has to be like a hundred feet long. You could hop on one foot and get there in good time. Nobody's ever been inside Barnaby's house before. It could be very dangerous. I'll search it. You two stand guard. But wait a minute, something I'm sorry, Lisa, but it's time I did something besides cry. That's right. Fuck you, scriptwriters. This role's gonna have some meat. But what a shock. Going into a bad guy's lair gets her captured too. So they go back to the Toy Master to seek more advice. Don't you have the power to turn Barnaby into a... a wind-up pussycat or something? Oh, but what if there's still some good inside of him? There's no good in Barnaby, sir. The struggle between good and evil goes on inside of everyone. Not in me, old man! I still think there's good in you. Please! Please! Oh, the beautiful flask of evil! You don't need any more evil, Barnaby? You know, I may not be an escape artist, but... I think she can get out of that. Oh my god, they got me, ah. Uh. Don't you dare touch a hair on that child! I'm not a child! Yeah, a child doesn't get drunk at age nine! You're wrong, my interfering little Cincy Watsky. So he leaves his bird to gobble them up when he, get this, accidentally cuts the ropes. Whoops. <laughs> they outwit the creature and try to figure out what's the best course of action. You and Georgie must find a way to get the flask of evil back. Why us? What? Well, because I'm old and you are young. And the challenge of protecting good from evil eventually always falls to the young. This is how we protect our traditions. Uh, yeah. This is how you protect your cowardly ass, you lying schmuck. I saw Karate Kid. You can wax on wax off these bozos before Happy Days comes on. So they think the answers lie in the forest, as they, oh for God's sake, how many of these trap doors does this guy have? It's like the Underground Railroad if it was literally an Underground Railroad. You're the monster of Toyland, Barnaby. How could you ever wish evil on the most wonderful place that ever existed? You're insane. Well, yes. What's that? Well, yes. Did a pitch bull munch on its nuts while reading that line? Well, yes. Well, yes. So he starts to spray them with gas to turn them evil. But Lisa is immune because she's from Cincinnati? Nothing's happening to me. I guess I'm immune because I'm from Cincinnati. Yes, Cincinnati! Why does coming from Cincinnati make you immune? Do Cincinnati lungs breathe evil toxins all the time that they just become used to it? They could all be. It'll help keep your lungs straight. C-I-N-C-I-N-N-A-T-I, Cincinnati. Wait, so if she makes them think they're from Cincinnati, that somehow cures them of being evil? What sense does that make? Are they trying to convince us that Cincinnati is, like, the one true religion or something? Sheesh, they're gonna be going to every door in Toyland proclaiming the word. And if you say the Cincinnati prayer enough, you'll stay away from evil. But my lips move just as much as those the tank engines! Well, as long as you accept Cincinnati as your true lord and savior, everything will be fine. What do you say about that? Tiny Tom! What? Okay, look, look. Handsome Tom is a tall guy. So if we call him Tiny Tom, it'll be just like the Willow Joke. It'll be exactly like the Willow Joke! Yes, but it's Christmas, so we'll be forgiven. Get out of here! Yeah. Yeah. So the Cincinnati song, for whatever half-baked thought process, keeps them all good and they manage to escape. But Barnaby has his own garage of children's convertibles to chase them down as well. You know, as 
riveting as this chase sequence is, I can't help but feel it's missing a certain something. Let's try it with this. <laughs> with Barnaby, so he feels it's time to unleash his evil army on Toyland after giving them all the evil gas, because it makes them eviler, I guess. Yes! It's all yours! I have only toys here. Toys cannot protect us from anything. As long as there is one person within these walls who can't believe in them. Who doesn't believe in toys? Yeah! Wh whatever that means! There is one person who was never really a child. Life made her grow up too fast. It must be you, Lisa. Me? You're always saying I'm not a child. And I guess maybe you never have been. Always saying? It was brought up twice throughout the entire movie! And even then, it was pretty much just glanced over! And what's this about being forced to grow up too fast? We never saw anything that indicated she grew up too fast. She still talks like a kid, acts like a kid. What is she overcoming? A last minute ditch for a lazy writer to slip in a stupid plot thread? What do I have to do? Believe in Toyland and all that it stands for. Because she didn't before? If you is... can see Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stick with the Santa child. fortune cookie shit. I'm just gonna skip to the part where she overcomes her obstacles that they forgot to have written in. I believe in you, toy soldiers. Don't you see? I believe in you. I believe in you and all the toys. Ah, uh, yes. Just look at the dignity of the toy soldiers. The restraint in their movement. The dignity in their march. The fact that those masks are clearly too big for any of the actors wearing them. Sound the trumpet's call! It off. I'm not doing a Christmas Carol parody! Okay, okay. What happens if one of the producers actually made a video for the parody? Well, I guess if someone went to all the effort, I mean... Good! Luba's already made one! She really wants to see the project move forward! Really? Luba's on board? Oh yes, she's really passionate about it! Well, okay, let me see what video she sent. For God's sake, what is wrong with you? Well, she's in the video. But she's tied to a chair. No, 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 no. This is how she gets into character. It's symbolic of how she's breaking the bonds of her performance. It's really quite beautiful. If you come near me again, I'm calling the cops. Ah, joke's on you. They're already looking for me. <laughs> so the toy soldiers go to fight the evil mutated Christmas trees and send them back to their bowling ball of doom. This shit just got real! Imagination nothing, a good gun and explosives is all you need to save the day! the whites of their eyes or the skin of their obviously falling off masks. Not quite yet, Uncle Barnaby. Ah! <laughs> See you at Thanksgiving! So Barnaby and his evil army are defeated, and they're banished out of Toyland forever. For your evil against Toyland, you are hereby banished into the forest of the night. Forever. I'm only doing this because I still think there's good in you. Ah! So Mary and Jack finally get married, Lisa's the flower girl, the whole destroyed cookie economy thing never comes into play, and Lisa is finally sent on her way home. But I want to say goodbye to the Toy Master! <laughs> well, you should have a nice trip, Lisa, if you don't mind a few bumps. Hey, it's Santa Claus! Now egg roll, now fried rice, now mushu with ham, on wonton, on dumpling, and mugu guy pan. I 
take the Milky Way. All the way. Hang on, child, and look out for the shooting stars. Yes, especially considering how little wind there is hundreds of feet up in the air. Okay, film, there's no excuse. You should have reshot that. So Lisa wakes up in her house and, wouldn't you know it, it was all just a dream. We must stay young and try to be good. And above all, we must believe. And then we'll always have a Merry Christmas and everything, won't we? Always and always and always. Wait, one more time. I don't think it was contrived enough. So one of the toy soldiers shoots her the finger, I mean gives her a salute, and they all live happily ever after. So that was Babes in Toyland 1986. Is it bad? Okay, that's a stupid question, but is it fun to watch? Well, I certainly say yes. It's really campy and really lays on the cheesiness. It's a great film to watch if you're just looking to laugh your brains out at something so ridiculously silly. And personally, I had a ball watching it. So, if enjoyably bad movies are your thing, certainly check this one out. Maybe you'll regret it, but you'll have fun regretting it. I'm a nostalgia critic, I remember. Nobody knows. Excuse me one moment. The trouble I've seen. Nobody knows. But Jesus. It's so hard to cry when you don't have any eyes. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? <laughs> Look, just because I'm not doing a Christmas Carol parody doesn't mean I'm not gonna do some kind of Christmas parody. <laughs> Come on, buck up, little camper. <laughs> Tell you what, why don't I let you pick the next horrible Christmas movie I can do? It can be anything I hate. The Grinch. Can be any of the Rankin Bass stuff. The Grinch. Can be the uh, Killer Snowman movie. The Grinch. What's the name of the job that Taylor Thomas This played? week's the Grinch! God damn it! I come from C I N C I N N A T I Cincinnati! The best town in O E I O Ohio! That's A! At first they called it Cincy, but since Cincy is so natty, they named it Cincinnati, so they say! Hey, now girls are pretty, pretty in this pretty little city! The fellas are the feistiest, feisty! And when it comes to ballies, you know, maybe this isn't the best way to get into character. Oh, my dead butt!